Here we're asked to use the given information to fill in the um, number of elements for each region in this Venn diagram to the right. And the information we're given is that the number of elements in set A is 16, the total number of elements in set A. The total number of elements, elements in set B is 21. The total number of elements in the, un, the uh, excuse me, the intersection of A and B is 13. And the number of elements that are in a complement, in other words, the number of elements that are not inside of set A is 38. So, as we've discussed before, if you possibly can, you want to start in the innermost region of the Venn diagram. That would be this region where A and B overlap, which they've labeled Y. So that is the intersection of A and B, as we've dealt with many times. And they told us that the intersection of A and B has 13 elements in it. So what we've just figured out is that Y is equal to 13. Now, you sort of work your way out. We know Y, but we don't know X or Z. Well, Y is part of A, and if you take A in totality, you get X plus Y gives you all of A. And since you know that the number of elements in the entire circle A is 16, and you already have 13 of them here, that tells you that X must be 3, because 3 plus 13 gives you the 16 elements that are there. So now we've just figured out that X is equal to 3. Using that same logic, we also know the number of elements in set B is 21, and since 13 of them are already in set B and are labeled, the rest of them must add up to 21. So 13 plus 7, whoa, 13 plus 8 gives me 21. Be careful with your arithmetic. One little slip like that can cause you to miss the entire problem. So 13 plus 8 is 21, so the number of elements in B now is right. So we've just discovered now that Z is equal to 8. And finally, uh, we want to find W. W is the, is the uh, number of elements outside of either circle outside of, excuse me, um, circles A that aren't in A or B. And the only piece of information we haven't used is the fact that the number of elements that are not inside of circle A is 38. Well, in order to figure out what that is, we've got to cover up the elements that are in A, and everything else has to add up to 38. So I've covered up the things that are in A, so that means W plus 8 has to be 38. So that must mean that W is 30. So by a process like this, or similar to this, you should be able to figure out all four of those values, just like we did here. So now we figured out X, Y, Z, and W.